Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Building in the Nether. That's what I've been doing a lot of. As you can see, I've finished that line of windows. Um, I just don't want to make sure. I always want to make sure I don't back up into lava here. Um, and I've also done orders for these stairs, so that makes half of this wall, I guess, because I've also extended this way out. Um, and so that will be the border of the, this, I guess, this building, which means I'm going to extend that out too, although I haven't done that yet, I'd forgotten about that actually. Oh yeah, that's why I'd forgotten about that. Can I get you? Oh, I feel like that was really close. Oh, he, he spawned. Never mind. Alright. Um... I don't really like that up there, but that's where the uh, roof for the other for that little building connects in. So I don't think there's much I can do about it. But maybe it provides a nice contrast, kind of uh, different point. Um, I like how this looks. I think I just might continue this on the bottom as well, maybe for this wall. Yeah, I'll just have this wall be that, maybe? I think so. Possibly. Yeah, I'll probably just do that. Um, or will I? Is there something else? Maybe I'll think of something else. And I set up two of these devices, which are magnificent time-saving devices. Basically, I put in all the resources that I want to cook up here, and then this hopper takes it down into the top here. Um, this hopper takes from this chest, which actually has nothing in it, it's more for show actually, this one's less so. Um, this hopper takes from this chest and puts into the fuel, which I'm using lava buckets. And so far it's gone through two lava buckets and it's still got, you can see it's still fueled up. Um, and then, yeah, then this hopper takes out the items and puts it into the chest below without me having to do anything. Well, except for fill up these boxes and chests and takes out stuff from this chest. Um, because it'll get filled up. But it'll save me a lot of time because I've been doing that a lot. The one downside is that you don't get experience from it. Um, because if you take stuff out, like this stuff should still be you can see my experience bar going up on the bottom there. I'm getting the experience from cooking this. And there we go. Ding, ding, ding. Um, but don't really get, like, it took six furnaces full of stuff just to get me from, you know, just to get me from, like, here to there for level 20. So it doesn't really... These types of items don't give you much experience. Iron and gold give you much more experience. But I'm not really sure about food. But yeah, I wanna... Oh yeah, so there's another blaze spawner up there that I... Uh, um, did in. Um, sealed? Yeah, sealed. Um, so I wanna actually... What I'm gonna do next is take down some of these towers. I just came back from a supply run, so my pickaxe is almost full. Don't know what I broke. Oh, I must have broken the stuff when I was building this, these things. Um, I'll get rid of that nether rack when I climb up to build the wall. Um, but yeah, I want to do a bit of work, and I'll be back. Progress report. One. I want that to sound more confident. I've removed two towers. One that was right here, and one that was right here? No, like there was a bunch of stuff that I removed right there that came down. Um, I've removed more netherrack, but now I have to go and repair my pickaxe again because there's only like 45 hits on it left out of 1,500. Although, those hits are actually, since it has unbreaking, 
think it's like uh, only a 25% chance of using one durability, I think. Something like that. Hi. I kill you. You didn't drop anything. Why you... Oh. You guys are angry too. Oh well. I'm getting more confident since I've... Uh, making it safer and safer. Although, are you coming all the way from over there? Holy moly. Oh, here you come. Huh. That's, oh dear. Okay, maybe this was not as wise an idea as I thought. Well, there's some gold. So eventually, once it's really safe, I'll have no problem killing these guys every once in a while, and I feel like it. Where are you? Oh, are you actually trapped in there? Oh, I see. And then the thing will pick that up. Do I hear another one? No. Okay. Um, and these things have been doing work. Oh yeah, let me show you what I did here. Although not to watch my back. Um, so I continued this on the bottom there, like so. Um, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, but then on this side, or like on this side, I just did a couple of these cobblestone fence supports. Um, just because I liked it. There's, I started just doing one right between these two devices, and then on the other side, and on the other side, and that turned out to be four between each, so that's how it turned out. Um, I've actually taken some stuff out of here already, and I've refilled the buckets a couple times. Uh, yeah, I think I've taken stone out of here too, but they're doing work. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's gone through that least entire row. Definitely a lot easier than me doing it manually, I'll tell you that. But I'll be back in a bit. Okay, status report number two. I've removed two more pillars over here. Finished up the bottom of that, kind of, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. What? Where? Oh. Why are you... Hey, okay. I was going to hit him for sure. I don't like your kind. There we go. Dead. Alright. So, and as you can see, my diamond pickaxe is again almost dead. It took a fair bit of work. Um, next thing, before I go back and repair it, because it's getting more and more expensive to repair, I figure, actually, I'm going to be leaving the house here in a bit uh, to go to a boot camp. Um, so maybe I will go back. But I wanted to show this open space before I did next little bit, which is going to involve circles. Two circles to be exact. I'm going to do this wall in a different design than either this wall or this wall. Each of these walls is going to be different, but similar materials. So this... Mm, yeah, it'll be okay. Okay. Hopefully. How many... Oh, I just realized that this platform is going to come up against that wall, probably. Will that impact what I'm trying to do? So what I'm thinking is for this giant wall, have kind of a circle window here, and a circle window here, filling it up with these nether brick fences. And then in the middle, have kind of a, um, one of those kind of cone-shaped windows. Although, thinking about it now, that might not be such a good idea. I still want to do two round windows. Or maybe... Oh, but I forgot that juts into there. Hmm. Anyways, next time I cut in, we're going to have a wall here. And I'll have one wall to do, and then I can do these... Do a walls on this thing so that they always fall inside of it 
and I'll probably do up this one so that it's complete too and then start working up there maybe probably who knows no one knows the future status report 3 someone has released the animals from their bonds probably some sort of flower glitch or something but I've got them walled off so they'll stay safe in there it take a while for them to get anywhere dangerous but they could go through the portal and then I have to track them I don't want them to do that anyways I have made some progress and we are going to do the last little bit on camera here and voila it's I really should have made it one higher off the ground but I think it looks okay it's something different got something different for each of the walls uh, I don't really know which one I like the most I probably like that one the least but gets the job done um, and then for this one it took me a while to think of something but I finally uh, thought of something um, and then once we well we'll get almost completely walled off here do something different here I need wait if I go on you I'll be able to do it haha I'm gonna go like this and then we're gonna do I don't want it to be um, circles going in. So now go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this. so. Apparently, I'm not very good at talking and building at the same time. But who is? Well, some people are better than I am anyways. It's nice that spring is finally here. I always end up talking about the weather as my backup subject of choice. Um, how about uh, instead I talk about my summer job? Because I am going to be working for um, the town which I live kind of. Oops, no, you're not the right one. There we go. And I need one more here. Why do I always end up oh good. With these types of patterns. Well, recently it seems like that. Let's see. Oh, let's go up. Um, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be working for the Visitor Information Center in my hometown here. Um, and did a familiarization... Oh no! No! Well, I'm down here. Oh god. Was that just because of you falling down? <laughs> Zombie pigment fall down, go ouch. Didn't drop anything. Anything at all. I need some blocks to go back up. Mm. Just about need to go and repair this uh, pickaxe. Yeah, that looks not bad. See how it looks when it's finished. Let's go up here. And there. Oh, missed! Son of a... There we go. And... Haha! -ha. Um... Oops. So yeah, did a familiarization trip up along the uh, area in which I live. Um, 
doing these videos is really good practice for um, speech presenting, whatever it's called. You know, where you have to get up in front of people and talk. Except, I'm not actually getting up in front of people and talking, I'm just talking into a microphone. But the same principle applies. Shut up! Stop judging me! Um. Wait a tick. Aha! Get out of here. Something's not right. Something is not right. I think... Wait, which ones? So I know some of these are going flying off strange places. Alright, so that one's... Needs to go. Let's go down one more. Alright. No, don't do it. Um. Anyways, stop it. Okay, good, you miss. Um. Yeah, so did a familiarize the. Wait a tick. I think I'm just gonna have to end up in the middle. Get this done right. Uh -huh. And now this one goes like that. And this goes like that. Okay, now we go out. I think this will do it now. There, this seems better. And I'll be back in a moment. Alright, back. Um, just heard my sister coming home, so... Uh, how do I want to do this? Let's go down like this. So I uh, needed to stop recording for a bit. Because I had my door open and didn't want the sounds of her going through the kitchen and all of that to get into this. So yeah, that doesn't look half bad. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, and off camera earlier, I'd actually uh, let's get some of these things that went for a ride. Um, I added this set of stairs and platform so that I can just go straight to this level because I <laughs> to get to this level I've had to be I've been like running up these stairs and going down those stairs over there. It's just convoluted and kind of dangerous because the stairs don't have railings on them yet. Um, yeah. But anyways, I want to do these other... and I made another one the same distance away just for something else. I don't know what yet. Um, I want to do these other two... no, other three spots and then be right back. There. About half the vault is done now. I should probably really work on my, what's it called, going between sections, not editing, transitioning, yeah, I should work on my transitioning skills, anyways, oh jeez, there we go. He's out of the way. Do I hear angry? Oh, it's just the minecart. Oh, that guy wants me. Um, anyways, yeah, I figured out that, ouch, that each of these sections is actually a different 
um, is a different width. Oh goodness, a baby one. I hate baby ones. Babies anything. Aha. And, oh yeah, I've decided that hopefully none of them are coming up behind me. That would be most unfortunate. Although it is... Oh good. Eh. No lag, please. Yeah, most of this area behind me should be pretty safe now. Not completely, but... Haha. -ha. Oh, I keep attracting more and more. Here they come. Oh, okay. Well, anyways. These two are the same size. These two are not. As you can see from the different patterns. And I also decided to take the time and to fill that in as well. And also on the opposite side. Oh, come on. I really would. Ooh. Sure, there's a way to boil down these like, golden swords and stuff and get their resources. I would love that. It'd be so nice. Okay, I think that's all of them. Do not need you, golden swords, because I can't boil you down. Um, and then I was, before I started recording again, I just wanted to, actually I haven't finished that, I was going to fix that, why didn't I fix that? Oh well, I can't now. Um, well, I, I don't have, yeah, anyways, I'm going to put another, I'm going to replace that top line with, uh, these bricks. Hey, why are you missing? Why don't you why you know where I want you to go? There we go. Alright, that's better. What happened there? Well anyways, yes. I was thinking about how I wanted to do this. And hopefully nobody's still angry at me. Oh you look angry. You're walking straight for me. You're not. Yeah, you're coming for me. Come over here. Kill you. I kill you. Um, and I've decided to roll that floor back a bit. Um, as opposed to just have a little bit jutting out for where the stairs came up into it. Hopefully that's all of them for the moment. Really shouldn't have done that on camera. I rarely do it off camera. Why do I do it on camera so often? Um, I guess I just feel more threatened. I mean, or I feel like they're more impacting me when they do stuff to me. And thus, I have to kill them. Those guys are walking with a purpose. Like I stopped. Like I still is. <sighs> I don't think they can. It's smart enough to get all the way up here. If they are, that'd be most unfortunate. And I think they'll forget too. Um. Anyways, yes. So I'm expanding this floor out this way. And then I'll put the uh, uh wall on. Um. I need to move this over so it's actually beside the. Um, path. I'm gonna need to do the same. Well, actually, I'm gonna be extending it out even further. Let's see, I didn't actually finish figuring out where exactly I'm gonna be extending it to. Uh, let's extend it out to here. Here ish. There and so we'll extend it out to here. So to help mark that spot, let's go down here and then we can 
Ooh, that would could have been dangerous. Well, it still is potentially dangerous. And voila. Okay, now we have a spot kind of marked. Let's mark it more. There we go. Sure. That works. Although, this would work better. There we go. So I'm going to extend... I'm going to extend this wall all the way out here. I have no idea what I was... I'll have a vague recollection of trying to talk about something earlier tonight. About doing my training, going up the highway, but I'm not really good at telling story. Ooh, I know a good story I could probably su probably successfully tell, hopefully, maybe. We're not going to have you here anymore. Um, okay, so we're going on this, uh, um, it's a funny story, I swear. This familiarization tour up the highway to um, make ourselves more familiar with the terrain that we're going to be telling tourists about. Um, get to know a couple of the sites along the highway, because um, we live on the Alaska Highway, and the only time tourists really come by is during uh, the summer, spring the summer. So people are starting to go by now, not too many yet, um, but it'll really pick up during the summer months. Um, because in the winter it's just too cold, winter driving conditions are, well, if you're from the south you're not used to it, then it's a pretty killer. You gotta have winter tires and all of that, plus winter driving experience is definitely a plus for a, a highway such as ours. Um, so, but there aren't really a lot of things to see up here. Most people are going to Alaska because it's on their bucket list or something. But there is a lot of beautiful wilderness out here. So we stopped at a couple of lakes and stuff. And so at the first lake, because we're kind of stopping, um, my mom, who is also going to be my boss, she runs the Chamber of Commerce right now, and that is in charge of the Visitor Information Center. Um, she uh, would explain things and tell us about them, and she kind of organized the entire trip. Well, not kind of, she did. Um, and having us read from our, uh, the highway guidebook, basically, every once in a while about things on our highway. And we primarily deal with stuff, uh, up north of us. Like, we didn't really discuss much uh, to the south, and we didn't head south, we headed north, because that's where most of the tourists are heading. Um, and south gets more simple, I suppose, because it's, um, well, if you're heading south, you're heading back through territory you've already been through, for the most part. Ooh, I thought he was angry at me. But anyways, yeah, so the first lake we stop at is about, I don't know, 20 minutes out of town kind of on along a dirt road, and it's, I learned a couple things about it. Apparently we have actually, uh, pitcher plants. I might have known that before and then forgotten it, but, uh, we got a rare type of pitcher plant out there. kind of want to go out and have a look around and see if I can actually see any, um, but, uh, delicates, um, we have a lot of delicate natural areas around here, because the hot springs, about three or four hours up the highway from here, are also kind of consider that, which is why they can't be developed uh, to any high extent. Like, there's a boardwalk that goes out to the hot springs, um, but they can't be, like, really modernized and confined because of the uh, muskeg and swamp that it uh, grows in, or is in. Hot springs don't grow, per se. Um, it's... Yeah, so lots of interesting stuff. We got hoodoos, which are like these strange rock formations, uh, pillars that form naturally. Uh, fairly uncommon to the world, as to my knowledge. Might be the only ones in North America, maybe? These specific type, anyways. Um, 
I might also just be pulling that out of my bum, but, uh, anyways, I almost need to go repair my pick. Uh, the, the story, yes, so the, um, delicate natural area, um, and so we stopped there, and we kind of got into the habit of, well, I kind of started it, of throwing rocks, or batting rocks with sticks, or doing such things, because we'd stop in these natural areas, and there were three of us guys doing the training. What do you do, but you, when you out in those natural areas? You can sit nice and ponder ponder nature, or you can throw rocks and skip stones and do boyish things. Although the girls in our group did participate a little bit too, although not quite as vehemently as... Is that the right word? Is that the word I want to use here? Um, yeah. And so... Well, how this all got started was at this first lake, uh, I want to see open water. We don't have a lot of open flat water around here most of the time, so I decided to skip a stone or two. And so I skip one stone, it's half decent, bounces, or skips about... Uh, four or five times maybe, and so my friend from high school who's also doing this, a guy, um, decides that he has to do it too since uh, I did it. He's got to try and show me up, but that's the appearance anyways. Um, only problem is he's also holding a, a cup of coffee from uh, Tim Hortons, and that kind of makes it more difficult to throw to uh, um skip stones. So instead of skipping a stone, it kind of just ends up throwing it straight into the water and also succeeded in um, spilling coffee all over his hand, which he did not enjoy. But still, like, we got into the habit of throwing stones at another place. Um, kind of really nice lookout area, nice nature scene, but it's... Uh, um, abandoned, abandoned place basically. It used to be a, a kind of motel, lodge, and gas station type place, probably a convenience store, um, but it closed however many years ago, abandoned. Walked through one of the old abandoned buildings that some kids or hooligans or what have you had uh, um, broken into and opened. Um, kind of got dared into it by my mother, actually. Although, if I had been murdered by a crazy person, the last laugh would have been none. No, that's just not pleasant. That's not pleasant at all. Let's not talk about that. I don't want to get killed by nothing. Um, yeah, so we were on this, like, other lookout, and started... The guys just kind of started throwing rocks at this uh, old barrel, old barrels that were down at the bottom of this steep hill. Just because, you know, we've got rocks at our feet and there's a barrel down there. Gotta see if you can hit it, right? And we did that at like, another couple stops, too, actually. Although the other time wasn't barrels, it was like discarded uh, girders or what was it? Pipes of some sort. Anyways. This place is starting to come together, and well, I wanted to finish these walls before the end of this episode. Um, hmm. I don't know if that's going to be quite possible though here. Let's see. Aw, shucks. And you go over there. Mm-hmm. How am I gonna gonna have you in the wait, leave that one there, so we're gonna have these You're going up. And this is mostly this is it is going to all be roofed off, because I'm gonna fill that in too. It's really a pity that you can't bring water into the nether, it really lighten things up. Let me check how long this episode is. 
Yep, there we are at 35 minutes. Alright, I'm going to end the episode here, and next episode I'm going to have this wall finished, hopefully. So, ta for now. What is it Tigger says? I was trying to remember that earlier. I'm going to have to look that up. Anyways, uh, let's play again later. Bye-bye.